Right, the interesting part of doing this wing. Note just now I'm not securing anything with this servo, but I am going further with the right bottom wing than I have with the lower left wing. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now you have to make this little jig up from DH2 and DH1. Okay, and you, there's enough to make two. There you are. These will come in handy later. And what you do, you place this jig under the last rib. You push it into the slots. Jing it about a little bit. There you go. There you go. Already had this in one, so I know it fits. And you just push it down like that. Okay, nice and gentle. Now that's in. So we come to this part here. Now remember, I'm doing most of what I'm doing because I'm putting an aileron into a design that's not designed to have one. So what you now have to do is pin down W4, which I've done with the um, notice board pins, making sure you've got the top rail in there, which is LM. S1 because this needs to come up against here this part which I believe is LMS3 now comes the complicated bit because you've got to get W5 in LMS1 there whatever it's called and you've got to pin down that top leading edge there and then sort of make it fit because this is all loose right but obviously you've got to make sure there's no gaps which there are now the other thing is you need to get something square because this is rib 7 and you need to get that absolutely vertical I'm just using a, a block here which I know is square but obviously if you want to you can use a set square or a right angle if you like or 45 you know, as long as you've got a 90 edge on it All right. Now, for long as that is square on, on R7, and that leading edge is butted up, and the trailing edge is butted up, which it isn't right now, we'll look into that, you can now glue all that together and let it dry. I, on the other hand, I've got to take this all apart and find out why that's not butting up. But when it does butt up, we're going to glue it all together okay so there you are don't muck it up now then I've done the starboard wing or the right wing if you like so we now got a set of bottom wings the servos are in the radio is on let's see if the ailerons are working now just one point out I've not glued these in okay so they're going to pop out when they move but let's see if they work so here we go ailerons one's gone down one's gone up lots of travel on it yeah superb look at that okay so they work so you're probably wondering let me just put this uh, to one side for a minute there you go so you're probably wondering what's everything look like underneath so what I have done using dead reckoning uh, I've made a rod there uh, this rod is slightly shorter than the other rod okay wish I had uh, wish I could balance this on my knee but then I'd be a rod knee wouldn't I haha <laughs> anyway so this is a shorter rod because this type of servo that goes in flat is the same as this servo so therefore I've got to put it the other way around you see what I mean but uh, yeah that seems to be working exceptionally well how about that so I'm going to carry on with the rest of the wings now, now they've got that going. I'll put the ailerons in the top wings. Um, they don't need all this gubbins, though. All they need is just 
little hook thing here on the bottom to link the upper and the lower. Um, I won't be making any rods up for those just yet because there's a lot more to go uh, to be happening before that. So the two top wings, the right and the left, are finished. I've got to do the centre section, but it's complicated to explain. Easier to show you. So that's where we're at. Uh, Ta-da!